Today we are going to be building a house in The Sims 4 out of a spiral staircase shell and first I'm going to show you how to make it. The other day I did a staircase inspired shell and I figured I would give to you what The Sims team hasn't given to us in years. Anyway, let's go ahead and build our shell. So I'm going to start off with just a rectangle on the floor and we're going to go I think five stories up with this. So for every single addition to this shell I'm going to be building another rectangle and we're going to start it at the point of the previous floor. We've got that one there and now we're gonna go up and I'm actually gonna take this and copy turn it and attach it onto that there so we're gonna have like one starting point for every single floor if that makes sense <laughs> so again I'm gonna take this one we're gonna copy I'm gonna rotate it and it's gonna go up to the top so basically this is gonna be the top portion of this shell but I want to add another floor which is impossible in the sims we cannot add on another floor what I'm gonna do instead is add a basement level so I'm gonna take my basement tool and I'm basically gonna just make a uh, rectangle around this shell obviously way bigger than the actual thing and we're gonna remove the ceiling I don't know if you saw what I did there it was a little fast but build it click on it and then remove the ceiling and now I can take this we're gonna rotate it and this is gonna be our starting point obviously I'm gonna have to adjust this like basement floor now because it's all messed up but you get the point so our shell is gonna look something like this and because I'm crazy I'm gonna go ahead and add this because that is bothering me but yeah here it is the spiral staircase shell I mean if you wanted to keep going you could probably add on more levels to the basement you can add four levels downward as well but that <laughs> will take me literally 10 years to finish so this is what we're gonna start with I'm actually just adjusting these parts here I'm gonna end it right there so every corner is also kind of hanging off but on the previous level if that makes sense and this is gonna be our shell I'm building on a big lot right now but if we have to move then I'm totally fine with that I think I'm gonna make this even taller I'm gonna make every single level on the medium wall height and I'm doing this so that I can add like trim on it I want to add little pieces pieces here and there plus it just looks bigger and more impressive I guess so yeah we're gonna add these or maybe this one I haven't really decided but I'm gonna add these on the top obviously gonna go modern but when I do builds like this I tend to go like eco modern very light I want to go dark today so I'm gonna use spa day I think I'm just gonna use like plain black like this and then I'm also gonna hide those like white strips underneath by going in with a trim so I'm gonna add those along there just so that those little weird parts like the white parts on the bottom of the wall aren't visible and we're gonna add some flooring to each level and I think I'm gonna go with metal I think it'd be cool if we could do like maybe industrial interior with this so metal on there and we need a fence for this bottom part I don't think since it's a basement I can actually get trim on there but my favorite thing to do lately is use half walls as fences so I'm gonna go in with one of those we're gonna use maybe like the third one the very short half wall and I'm gonna go in and hello <laughs> make a fence there and I think I'm gonna do that maybe maybe up here as well. I'm not gonna do it for every single one because I don't want it to be repetitive, but I might go in with like a glass fence for the other ones. Let's add some dark trim on our half wall. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that basement level yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some like black, maybe literally just black concrete for now. Cause like I said, I don't know what we're gonna do. It does bug me that there's that white strip there, but we're gonna have to figure out something. We'll have to compromise. We're gonna do a homemade pergola, but on diagonal. So I'm gonna take my base game smooth keeper fence. I'm gonna put on my grid and I'm gonna just trace out along the bottom actually you know what I should put columns first make this easier I'm gonna put them on the corners here and now I'm gonna just take this fence and attach it where I can so it's gonna end up looking something like that kind of like on a diagonal different length very futuristic and modern I love to see it maybe for this one we just do three I kind of like how that looks it's kind of glitching up there a little bit I'm gonna have to do something about it or maybe we add one more no I think I like the spacing there I'm gonna keep it like that and then we're gonna go in with our trim I'm gonna try and grab a thinner black one here and just put that along again to cover up the white the thing with the sims 4 when you're building if you're trying to do like a dark build these can literally mess everything up because they're so bright and like you can't do anything about it unless you add trim and hide it it's very irritating same as like ceilings you know sims 4 problems I'm gonna go ahead and add some windows next I think and then we can fix up this pergola I want to do maybe a little bit of luxury with like a spot a chandelier or something like if we could do do this in here and maybe shrink it and then cover the top up with plant that could look kind of cool like something like that I don't know okay anyway I'm gonna do the windows obviously gonna go with these uh, fully glass windows up here and maybe the entire top floor can be glass the ladder situation or like stairs or whatever we plan on doing is gonna be such a nightmare I can already tell I want to add in a little bit of variety with my window situation and I'm gonna add in some spa day ones just a little bit I don't want to 
go too overboard with them because our shell is already really odd. <laughs> Front door, I think I'm gonna keep down below and I'm liking how spa day looks. I'm gonna go in with a spa day door. Maybe this one or this one could look really cool too. Or maybe they switch. Like this one can go up there. This one can come back down. Yeah, I like that better. Like I said, if there's too much of those like checker kind of windows, I, I don't like it. We're very particular today. We're gonna do a glass fence. For get together, I'm gonna put this up here. Maybe down there as well since I didn't add anything there. And yeah, we need to do something about this. I don't know what yet, but this needs to get covered. I do want to put plants, get a little bit of greenery, but I don't want it to look messy. This is a very clean, very abstract, like cut corners kind of house. And I don't want to mess that up with like a big messy looking plant. I don't really know what else to put up there. My idea was I was going to use this plant and raise it up. And then those chandeliers are going to be hidden a little bit. I believe this is actually one of the TikTok build hacks that I've tried on one of my videos before. Do you know what I mean? Am I being too picky? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Cause like that does look kind of cool. Okay. While we're at it, I'm actually going to save this and we're going to move. I wonder if it's all the greenery in the back that's making me not like the greenery on it. What is wrong with me? Where do you put a build like this? Okay. I've moved this thing around so many times. I feel like my entire save file is now this just on random laws, but I'm going to put it here in San Mishuno. I think I'm actually going to move it back a little bit. Okay. Let's figure out the stairs situation before we go any further and how we're going to get down into this area. So stairs, I'm going to use stairs where possible. I mean, it's hard for one because a, we don't have spiral stairs and B, we don't have diagonal stairs either. I am shady in this video. I feel like I apologize. Tea's hot. Tea is hot. Okay, if we put stairs here into that room, then that'll work there. And stairs in the same room leading up here, that's fine. Only problem with that is the lighting in this room is gonna be kind of messed up, but that's okay. We can play around it. And then up here, we're gonna already have our door leading in there. So I just need either ladders or stairs up to the next couple levels. I would like to protect the lighting as much as I can. So let's see if I can get a ladder into this one here. So one there, and then we'll do another one right there. And then we have minimal destruction of the lighting and those ones are actually the best ones there okay cool so our ladder situation is figured out now I need to figure out how to make this basement thing look good so what I'm actually gonna do is make a design in the flooring so I'm gonna go like this I'm gonna keep them only one tile apart and I'm gonna start with this one and just build a ceiling all the way along so we're gonna have like striped flooring question mark it's a very abstract build as you can see hence why I really wanted it to be somewhere modern Modern. Maybe this is a hot take, but I really would like another modern world. I mean, we just got Henford on Bagley, which is obviously like cottagecore country living area. I'm just saying a modern one, a nice updated modern world might be kind of nice. Let me know how you guys feel about that. This looks so cool. Okay, I'm gonna add some stairs. We're gonna do some thick stairs there, I think. And then would it be weird if we did this like beside the stairs? I mean, yeah, this is definitely a little weird, but let's try it. I've traced around it with strange Dangerville's illusion of a fence. It's like a really thin like fence and I think that looks really cool. I don't know like we went completely off the rails with that. I don't know why. I wish this was just like the whole lot. Okay so this is what I did for my landscaping if you can even call it that. Look at this. I ended up doing the black wallpaper in there and I traced around it with like a fountain or I guess this is a pool so technically your sims can go swimming here. Then I did a hedge around that just for like some privacy I guess and then over here just did some trees. I feel like when you line them up like this, it just looks fancy. I don't know. And we haven't even started the interior. I'm going to do the lighting. I'm really excited to see this thing at nighttime. And then we can start on the inside, which also is going to look really cool when you see it from out here. So for lighting, you guys know I'm going to use spa day for my modern houses. I always use this. This is my go-to. Whenever people say that, I think of like beauty gurus. This is my go-to product. I am so like, we need to cool it on the side. So these are going to go in between every single open like zigzag thing. This is really tedious by the way. Like I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I am tracing around the bottom floor here with pool lights from spa day. That looks so cool. This is really like futuristic I feel like. Like this could be a museum. I think I'm also gonna do the outside of the zigzag like this border and then I'm gonna stop there because I would love to do like the inside of those two. It's just gonna take me so long. These are very very small and I'm like alt placing every single one so that it's perfectly aligned. These 
these are actually really fun to use because you can even change the color of them. Like if I wanted it to be red or blue, I could do that. Purple even. These also kind of remind me of like the floor lights on airplanes. Like the ones that will illuminate for you in the case of an emergency. It's such a minimal difference, but it looks so cool. Okay, I have to stop. I have to stop. I'm going to go in with, with the rest of the lighting. So I'm going to be using these from Spa Day on the actual build. Even if some of them are covering a window, I kind of don't mind. Okay, so with lighting at nighttime, this is what we're dealing with. I think I'm going to try and furnish some of the balconies, but I'm going to keep it very minimal because I don't want too much clutter out here. So we'll do like a chair and an end table out here. Maybe a couch right here. This is from Mosquito. Ooh, let's do the fire pit coffee table up here. And down here, let's put a bar right underneath the chandelier. That looks so cool. Okay, so here is the final exterior. We've got the balconies taken care of. Let's go inside. So for flooring and wallpaper, I think I'm going to keep it pretty cohesive. So we'll do like black flooring. Or do we want to do white flooring with like black walls? Or we alternate. Like this charcoal could be kind of cool. And we could go in with like different colors like this from Eco Lifestyle. It looks a little bit like a chalkboard. Up here, we could do white walls and we just switch the flooring. Let's start with the bottom floor. So this is probably going to be like the living room, I'm assuming. So for my couch, I think I'm going to use Moschino. I think I am going to stick with my plan of keeping this quite minimal. So we'll do a really big TV right here, a fireplace. Moschino rug in here. And I think for the entire house, my only off color is going to be green. Ooh, actually this fireplace with that bookshelf, this TV on top, maybe we get like the spotty candles. I'm literally going to keep the black filter on for like majority of this house. So this is going to be it for our first one, our living room. Let's go upstairs and do the next room, which this is probably just going to be maybe, oh God, my stairs, look at this. This is maybe just going to be a hallway or something in that room. We could even do a study potentially. I'm just using smaller doors here so they fit right under those stairs because we do not want it to cut off that like top part. But yeah, let's do maybe a study in here. This is just going to be an office that you would want to like pass through. Let's do it here so you could kind of like watch the city life. I honestly wish my desk was in front of like a big window. It would be awful for lighting. But imagine just like people watching, like doing your thing and then like gaming maybe. That would be really cool. We're going to use this fitness stuff rug with those lines. I feel like it reminds me of like the outside. And yeah, this is quite a bit too minimal for me personally. This is definitely not my style, but I think we have to do something different for this house. We'll do a big sign right there. So it's only one thing on the wall, but it's huge. <laughs> and then for like for the lighting, I kind of want to use these. We'll just get a plant right here in this corner here and like do I need a fitness stuff hallway rug here or does this call for a bigger rug like this is a really strained room but I'm thinking I could even fit a small seating area right or no it's a very odd shaped room I'm getting very much like corporate vibes like this could be a meeting area let's go upstairs and this is probably where it's gonna be more of a homey vibe if we're going for like the, the office idea maybe the person who lives here is like a business person and they can work downstairs like do meetings do some work host events or whatever on their patios and then upstairs this is where it starts to become like their actual home even though there's no bathroom but you know what there's one right there <laughs> okay let's go ahead and do the kitchen and dining we're gonna have our own personal bathroom but I'm saying for like if we did have people over I am gonna wait to do the bathroom until we get upstairs though because the diagonal is so weird or should I do it here yeah no we're gonna do kitchen and dining right here so let's get a fridge I'm picturing very like metally silver so let's put that there and we'll do the counters along this way which I'm thinking spa day for these we'll do all black dream home decorator oven I've got my sink which I'm gonna put there like that we'll use that corner piece and we need a smoke detector since I said this looked like a chalkboard do you think it would be weird if I use those from dino to make it look like someone had like drawn on there I'm gonna try it keeping with like the modern vibe and then let's go in and add a little bit of clutter so hanging plant looks kind of cool right there I'm adding salt and pepper and a plant and that's all I'm going to do for clutter. And then for over here, we can do a big dining room. I have a lot of room for this. I've basically used every Moschino um, swatch for this one rug, even though there, there's like a few I could use. Like I could use this and all black. Let's see what fits our dining room table the best. So I'm going to go in and grab a table. I like this swatch. I like how there's like a little bit of different shades in there, but it's still dark. And then let's get our chair. Let's do it like that. And then I've got my garbage can over there. This is probably going to remain empty unless I just add a small plant like this one in the corner and that's gonna be that for our kitchen and dining how is this looking from the outside oh I love it okay let's go upstairs this is gonna be where the bathroom will be definitely oh 
god. Oh no, the doors. It's actually perfect because the bar is right there. Okay, so for our bathroom, obviously it's gonna be big, fancy. I'm gonna use my first pet stuff curtains to hide these massive windows. I'm gonna raise these all the way up to the roof because I hate how they just kind of cut off like that. So there's our huge mirror wall. I'm raising this plant so it's kind of hiding right in between there. And this is gonna be our minimalistic bathroom. Here could be a skill room. Upstairs is gonna be the penthouse bedroom, but we could do a skill room right here. It could literally just be more of like an entertainment area. It's kind of scary that you get up here from a ladder, but you know what? Until The Sims adds on a ladder dev, you're gonna be fine, trust me. And if you're not, let me know because that would actually be kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna do the mosquito lights in here. And then I think I'm also going to add like some sort of weird statue right there, literally like that. So we're gonna have that statue over there, our karaoke machine. We need a plant, at least one in every room. I'm gonna put one here because we know that this ladder will still work either way. And that is gonna be our karaoke room. I feel like we need maybe this wallpaper for that. Just one little like accent wall. And then upstairs, we're gonna do the bedroom. I'm kind of tempted actually. Okay, just kidding. I was gonna change my wallpaper, but I feel like it's pointless since there's so many windows. I'm using my first pet stuff blinds again for the upstairs. We're going all black lamp. I've never seen this from get to work. Is that nice or I kind of like it. It looks like custom content a little bit. We're going black rug, vintage glamour dresser over here. And there might be too many windows here. I think I'm gonna delete this one. That way we can get a huge mirror right there also from vintage glamour. I think I'm gonna take that picture from cats and dogs and just make it a little bit bigger, add some lighting around it. And I feel like now it looks a little bit modern. I normally don't like to use those, but I don't mind it sized up. I'm again, trying not to over clutter. I feel like the person that lives here after I place those shoes, they have the perfectionist trait for sure in the Sims, definitely. Ooh, maybe we could do a double poof at the end of the bed. We've got a plant right there and I think I'm gonna leave it. It feels so weird decorating like in this style. Like I said, definitely not my preferred kind of thing, but the shell is so cool. I'm so happy with it and how it turned out. I like it the best at nighttime, but here it is in other lighting. With the sunset, it also looks really cool. And, but yeah, I definitely think this build thrives at night. So I'm gonna put this on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta if you guys are interested in downloading it. Let me know any build challenges you wanna see me do in the comment section down below. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.